So adjust those expectations. This isn't something that happens overnight anymore. You might be and realistically expect to be applying for multiple jobs every day for months. Hello and welcome to the PyBytes podcast where we talk about Python, career and mindset. We're your hosts. I'm Julian Sequeira. And I am Bob Beldebos. If you're looking to improve your Python, your career and learn the mindset for success, this is the podcast for you. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? We're back with the PyBytes podcast here in Alicante with Julian, Bob, in the same place. Nice. Welcome back, everyone. It is um, another episode while I'm on this trip in Spain with Bob and uh, super, super excited. It has been a very short but very long week <laughs> of fun and uh, work at the same time. So very, very grateful I got to do this. So we're actually recording this episode. If you are listening to it on uh, your audio app or whatever you, whatever podcasting app you use, check the YouTube link out as well because we're recording this from Bob's patio or do you call it a terrace? Balcony. Balcony. Terrace. Balcony. I, st- I was always saying you terrace said. from terraza yeah. and then you corrected me. That's a balcony. Not corrected. That's just and what we suggest- what I call You made a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So um, yeah, on YouTube you get the views as well. And, uh, yeah, beautiful view behind us um, of what beach is that? Is there a beach name? Was just not specifically. Okay, yeah. just it's all sure. beach here. Oh, it's just all yeah. beach. Yeah. No, it's not the same. This is Spanish culture is new to me. Yeah. Uh, everything has a name in yeah. in Australia, <laughs> in Sydney. Anyway, so this episode um, we're changing the format. We're not going to go through the typical wins and all that stuff because uh, we're keeping this quick. Mainly because we're hungry and we want to go have some lunch. So okay, lunchtime uh, coming up. Lunchtime. Now. Keeping it short. And we have people waiting for us yeah. as well. Parkinson's law. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the job hunt. Now, the reason we're talking about the job hunt uh, is because we have had many interactions with people over the past couple of months about the difficulty of landing a job. And these are people that we work with through our coaching, uh, but also people that we see in the industry, right? Friends, family. Uh, you name it, just uh, people we've networked with over the years and just how difficult it is to land a job at the moment. So we wanted to talk about some of the mindset and the uh, tactical things you can do to uh, Mm. make this a better experience for you. So I'm going to kick it off. You all right with that? Yep. Okay. First thing I'm going to say is do not expect something to happen overnight. That is one of the biggest mistakes people are making. Gone are the days where you could apply for one or two jobs and then expect a call back and land the job, right? I mean, I've been in that situation where I applied for one job and got it. You know, that used to happen back in the day, but now there's so many people applying for jobs. There's remote work. Uh, Jobs are limited as well, especially in the United States, right? Um, It's a tough job market at the moment. It really is. So that's why you need to adjust your expectations. Uh, Forget that you might have been able to apply for one or two jobs before and get the job you wanted because you had so much expertise uh, and move into the fact that this is a bulk event. This is something you have to spend a lot of time on. So adjust those expectations. This isn't something that happens overnight anymore. You might be and realistically expect to be applying for multiple jobs every day for months, right? I have contacts that have been searching for jobs since uh, casually since, say, February this year, 2023, that's what, eight months ago, Mm. eight months ago, and then only started the job hunt in earnest, really trying every day since June, and then it took them to, say, October to find a job, so that's four months. So set those expectations um, for yourself, and you'll make sure that you avoid frustration and disappointment, because you will have recruiters not reply to you, you will have people ghost you. You will have lots of declinations uh, from you actually applying for the job, getting the interview. Uh, Lots of interviewers not show up. All sorts of unprofessional things uh, now happen during the job hunt, and you have to be able to roll with those punches and move on to the next one. Yeah, and artists do not take that personally, right? Like if they don't get back to you, um, and that takes a lot of mindset. Yeah. Right? So on to the next thing, portfolio. So you need to work on your portfolio, your GitHub, your resume mm. uh, constantly. That's not like a one-time thing. You need to constantly upgrade that and also tailor it to the positions you apply for, right? You might not send the same resume to one company over the other. Correct. Um, and it's often a tip you have, right? That's no, a uh, big thing, huge with thing. Emily yeah. with the CVs and the exactly. review, right? Um, and same for GitHub, right? Like put those 
strategic key projects up, up there, update the README, make it engaging so people really can show that you have, um, you can really show that you have the skills and talk about those projects with, uh, with passion. And also tactically for the interview, coding interview prep, um, yeah, do some more exercises, right? Our uh, platform at codechallenge.es is great for it. It's real world scenarios. Um, I would both practice those as well as a bit more the algorithm um, kind of scenarios, which we're also adding to the platform right now. Uh, Josh is actually doing a great job on those. Um, so use our platform. Really do one or two bytes a day and, and reach that because it will increase your confidence when you have to tackle those problems in the interviews. Hmm. Beautiful sales pitch. I love it. Uh, it has to be said. <laughs> I mean, that, it really works and it's an important part of it, yeah. right? Like, and uh, people have landed jobs after getting that mindset, getting their mind working to solve problems right. that way. So I mean, on one hand, you're expected yeah. to life code. It is what it is. Mm. We don't always agree with that, right? Oh, yeah. um, yeah, but you can expect that. On the other hand, do projects, right? Um, there have been people in PDM that have skipped coding interviews because they mm. had a strong portfolio. Yep. Exactly. So. so on that note, the next tip, and you're not going to like it, but it's get involved on social media. And specifically, I'm going to say LinkedIn. Now, people can talk about Twitter or X and Facebook and all that stuff, but uh, LinkedIn is where you want to be. Um, and I apologize if you can hear that car oh, driving. Car, yeah. We're in such a quiet street, like one car every half an oh, hour. One car an hour. And one car an hour. And then, of course, as we're recording. One car drives past, um, and we're not editing that. L out. Luckily, it's not summer. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and then we're also Bob's not editing out that alarm. Bob's yeah. alarm goes yeah. off for lunch. So now we're getting, I'm going to have to hustle through this. Yeah. Um, so the next <laughs> tip thing is on LinkedIn, you want to make sure that you're active. So there's two sides to this. One, actually share your portfolio out. Talk about the niche that you're trying to find a job in. So if you're trying to find a job in Python, obviously talk about Python, get involved in the Python communities comment on people's posts you know if you see us posting stuff on python just reply and comment and that way your profile starts to build up that sort of metadata with the linkedin algorithm right so as recruiters are searching for python developers you start showing up more as someone who's involved in that when recruiters actually look up your profile they'll see your activity if they see you posting about python and stuff you're suddenly a more attractive candidate uh, and but the thing is this goes for other jobs so if you know people in this situation and they're like program managers they're uh, working in not even in the IT sector uh, they're recruiters they're salespeople marketing whatever same thing goes okay doesn't matter what your field is you need to be involved in that um, on LinkedIn and be posting be sharing uh, be commenting and, and all that sort of thing um, and just to add to that is network so in that same time at that same time that you're doing those things make sure you're networking you know reach out to those people directly talk to them let them know what you're interested in be interested in what they're doing and then you become top of mind when opportunities arise yeah networking is, mm. is critical you yeah. need to always take that opportunity you never know where that next opportunity is coming from what contact i think i shared on the podcast right like the reason i got a job in spain is mm. because i had a contact i you know that's right yeah yeah from from three years prior and yeah. i just kept that contact so yeah. and a good opportunity as well to uh, you know give a shout out to our community our new oh, circle yeah. community join that there there are like-minded people people already connecting from um similar geos mm -hmm. and you know it's uh that's important. Yeah, that's really fun to see. We got people going, oh, you're in New York too. Yeah, let's, we should totally catch up for a drink. Or uh, a couple of people in London catching up now that they realize they're in the same suburb. So uh, very, very cool. And then you build those connections. You never know what kind of opportunities come from that. So, yeah, and yeah. starting small and now with more people joining, we get more synergies. Yeah. All right. yeah. What else did we have? Um, was there anything to do about the skills? Skills? Keep your skills up, I think. Mm -hmm. But we talked about that a little bit. I think that's it. I think those I think are the main... Again. Yeah, keep it clean, keep it to the point, right? But I think the, the main point here is to... You have to have that mindset that you're going to keep pushing for this. You, that you don't give up. Because you, you will get your pushbacks. You will have people ghost you and stop replying. Even if you're eight interviews into the, the hiring process, right? Or five interviews in and you think you're a sure thing and they stop responding you have to move on from that and you have to be prepared to pick up and keep trying it is going to take months especially at this uh this point in time 
right? Yeah. So. Yeah, the technical skills without doubt, but I think here it's one zero for the mindset <laughs> because I think that's the toughest part. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not easy to pick back up after you get a declined on an interview, right? Uh, you can't help but take it personally, but all you can do is just um, pick back up, rely on your network, so build that network, talk to people, keep that, um, I'll use the word positive, but keep that positive mindset of uh, mm. growth here that you will get something. It will happen. Inevitably, it will happen. Uh, you just have to keep pushing and change that expectation that it's not an overnight thing and that it's something that might take a couple of months, but yep. just keep going. Because yeah. I, I, sorry, I will say the people that I know that have landed jobs this year, 2023, when it's been exceptionally tough, they are the people who didn't give up. They are the people who kept going. And they tell me, dude, I went through 25 interviews, 25 different interviews. That's not even applications, mm. right? Applications was something like 60 to 80. So you know, it is a numbers game, right? Yeah, it's a numbers game. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. and maybe also what we didn't mention i think is is what you apply for if you go for the mm. googles and facebook maybe you know reset those expectations maybe there's a adjacent field where you can still use python like i started using python in a support role mm. and so it was not a software developer role on sich um but you know you start <laughs> <laughs> started yeah. so I, but i could code in python and, and get ahead right yeah. but it was in an unexpected field so yeah. so have a wide vision where you can apply and then Go by the numbers. Yeah. yeah. Go mass applying. That's actually a great point because I will say now, you know, that acronym, uh, FANG, F A A N G, mm. I was referring to all yeah. that sort of stuff. Net Netflix, Google. Uh, they're actually, the, the shine in the industry uh, is, is wearing off, right? There's mm. a, a plenty of other companies out there to apply for, plenty of adjacent style tech roles to, to go for. And I say plenty, meaning, you know, they are out there, not that there's an, a saturation of these roles, because I know there isn't, right? But the point is, is that if you only set your sights on those five companies that make up that acronym, uh, you, you're probably going to find it much harder to find yeah. a job um, because, and uh, quite honestly, they're not all that special anymore, right? Uh, they were back in the day, maybe in the early, in the 2000s and maybe into the 2010s, but uh, these days, uh, lots of small to mid-sized companies are just showing just how innovative and amazing they are. While some of these bigger ones tend to uh, stagnate a bit, so yep. I'll uh, keep cool. my opinions to myself after yeah. that. <laughs> All right, that's I it. Think we need to go. We got to go to lunch. Yeah. So um, I'm going to enjoy a sangria with lunch. I think. Uh, what about <laughs> you, Bob? What's your drink of the day? No, just just a coke. Just a coke. Oh, that's yeah. probably even yeah. worse than that. I'm uh, having difficulty coming up with more, so I need to cut down a bit. <laughs> He's already, he still, he still hasn't gotten over the drinks from last night, so there you go. Oh, oh. Um, we'll leave that for another time. Yeah, <laughs> we'll leave that for a, a special recap episode yeah, as we yeah, just talk about the yeah. trip. How about that? Um, a whole bunch of bloopers. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. got a bunch of uh, yeah. that, that yeah. sort of material. All right, everyone, cool. thanks for Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll be back in another episode. Yeah, all right. Awesome. Cheers. Peace. Take care. We hope you enjoyed this episode. To hear more from us, go to pybyte slash friends. That is pybit dot es slash friends and receive a free gift just for being a friend of the show and to join our thriving community of python programmers go to pybytes slash community that's pybit.es forward slash community we hope to see you there and catch you in the next episode Because the other thing is when recruiters check out your LinkedIn pro... Oh, Bob kicked the table. Sorry. You're going to smack him. Um, <laughs> shook the camera. Um,